Let's get crunk, let's get crunk, let's get crunk. You know what I'm saying? Let's get crunk. And let me claim victory right now for all the blacks that set out in this election because we are the reason why the Democrats just got their comeuppance. They got exactly what they deserve. You know what I'm saying? And it's good for them. And I'm going to tell you in this video exactly why they lost it. You're not going to get this information anywhere else because people are going to start lying. And before they do, let me, let, let, let me stop and first let me shut down the conservative coons who are going to come out and say, oh man, the blacks switch sides. You know, why the blacks switch the Republican, all the blacks, you did the black. The, no, no, no. It's not that more blacks voted Republican. That is a lie. If you hear that anywhere, it is a lie. It's that less blacks voted in general that's what happened but it looks like turnout will be somewhere around 150 million but at any rate significantly less than the 160 million that turned out last time and the 158 million uh that uh some experts projected based off of the early vote numbers so that's actually quite damning evidence for the turnout operation for the democrats here not only did they underperform 2020 they actually underperformed 2024 early vote data which was already pretty bad for them so that's what happened if you have been keeping up with the tone of black america if you've been around black people instead of living in the burbs around white folk you'd have known that there was a general consistent consensus floating around in the hood that people just wasn't going to vote you know what i'm saying they just wasn't going to vote so they're not going to tell you that voter turnout was down. They're not going to admit to that stuff because they don't want you to believe that people are losing faith in the in, in the process, the, the voting process in general, because that will be bad for them. They need us participating in this stuff. They need us. They need us caught up in it so that it can maintain itself, because the second we stop participating in it, that that signals a bad sign for the elite. So they're going to always lie and make it seem like everything was hunky-dory and people were enthusiastic, it was coming out and all this stuff. They're going to lie about that because this is what they do. That's why they always talk about the Dow Jones surging or the stock market rallying while people are actually struggling in their real lives because they got to maintain the perception that everything is fine. And I don't understand. I don't understand how you could be struggling in your reality and you let somebody tell you that everything is just good. And you're like, yeah, everything is fine. Why you could barely eat. You you on this sucker eating cat food out of a can, but you letting somebody tell you that it's just fine. You repeating it. Oh, it's just fine. <laughs> Putting the cat food can open. Everything is just fine. Eating the cat food. Everything is not fine. Everything is not fine. Judge your reality by your reality, bro. And I'm going to explain in this video why people felt that way. Regardless of all the racist stuff Trump was doing, regardless of all the racist stuff he was saying, you know, you had blacks that were just like, I ain't voting, you know what I'm saying? They not gonna vote for Kamala, you know? And, and it's not personal towards Kamala. It's about the Democrat party. This had nothing to do with her being a, a black woman, if you, you know, or an Asian woman, whatever you want to call her, because Hillary lost too, you forget. This shows you that women in general, and this is something I've been telling liberals for the longest. Y'all can stay stuck on womanism all you want, but the average woman does not agree with you. That, that is a failed policy in the Democrat Party. And I don't want to get ahead of myself because I'm going to come back to all that. I'm going to come back to all that. But I'm, let, me, let me talk about the coon, the conservative coon that's going to try to claim victory. No, it's not because of them. More blacks did not vote Republican. That is, if you hear that, it's a lie. The black vote for Republican Party has always fluctuated between somewhere between eight and 13 14 percent it's always done it's never gone above 15 percent and i doubt seriously if it went above 15 percent this time if it does go above 15 percent it's only because fewer people that would have voted on the other side voted because the 10 million or so people that set out that was your democrat votes that was your democrat votes so this whole number will be less which means the percentage would be higher of those that voted for the Republican Party. I just broke that down for you. I, I just broke that down for you. So if you hear him trying to claim, oh, this year was it was 17%, it was 16 that's only because fewer black people voted in general. And I'm about to tell you why they didn't go vote. The reason why the Democrats lost was because of womanism, gay and trans, immigrants. That's their trifecta. 
the plus one was COVID. Uh, there are African American women. If you're a trans, if you're a parent of a trans kid, there are going to be people tomorrow. We're going to be handing clothes at the dry cleaners to people who don't have papers, and they're terrified tonight. Womanism, gay and trans, immigrants. That's their trifecta. So black women, y'all can keep on um, supporting these people. But I think the black men are waking up. For y'all conservative coons, black men are not going to go and vote for a whole bunch of neo-Nazis. Y'all can stop pretending like that's what happened because that is not what happened. What happened is the number of blacks that set out increased. And I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Now y'all where I am. Because I don't vote. I've never voted. You know what I'm saying? So now y'all are where I am. So now that we are on the same page in that regard, let's get on the same page in other ways. Let's start making moves that benefit us as a people. You know what I'm saying? Let's start getting back to our sense of community and get away from this dog eat dog, every man, woman, and child for themselves type version of capitalism. Let's get away from that, man, and get back to a communal mindset, right? A, a mindset where everything is shared in, in, you know, all nature is shared. All nature is to be shared by all people. Let's get back to that kind of thinking so that we can start helping each other survive you know what I'm saying and not just survive but thrive so that we can start building things so we can start building great things again so we can start building great civilizations again let's get back to that because only in in, in that you know in that regard can it happen it, it, it will never happen under the system that we have this system is not designed to encourage innovation it is slavery and that's all it is that's all it is and on that note both parties are the same both parties are the same. So I'm gonna end with this here. A little tidbit for you, for you liberal uh, politicians. See, this, this is the Ice Cube factor, right? Y'all remember when Ice Cube went on that, that, that TV show or that, that online show, uh, Fox Soul, and these black women sat up and told him to his face basically that black women are not black people that they are not a part of black people, that they are their own unique special group. This is what y'all doing with the women, with the gay and trans and the immigrants. If y'all were to just focus on just basic fundamental human rights, that would apply to everybody. But that's not what y'all really doing. What y'all trying to do is get favorable uh, uh, laws or, or create favorable uh, situations for these people. Y'all trying, trying to give these people uh, uh, a leg up on everybody else and when you do that you hurt everybody else and this is why people are pushing back on it there's no need to make specific laws for gay and trans people they people they people they don't need no more than I need women are not special people they people they don't need no more than I need yeah y'all can argue about that abortion stuff man but I mean that's about the only thing that's unique to women you know what I'm saying Everything else, just people. We all need things, man. We all need things. We all need the same things. We are, we are all human beings. And if the Democrats were to just focus on human rights instead of trying to, trying to highlight certain, certain fringe groups of people, they would still have the support that they had. And I hope going forward that the number of blacks decrease even more that vote. The number of blacks that vote decrease more. I hope it de I hope it decreased election cycle after election cycle until y'all learn the talk about the Democrats till y'all learn that that you just can't do people the way you're doing. Y'all depend on us to vote, but yet y'all treat us like like dogs. Y'all y'all kick us to the curb. Y'all don't care about us, and y'all make it obvious that you don't care about us. Anyway, that's my point. I made my point. I wanted to clarify that before the conservative coons claim victory is not because of them. They can shut up with that. They are lying. I don't care how many of them make videos talking about it. They lying. They lying. I'm telling you, they are lying. So on that note, I'm out of here. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm Brother Kush, aka the Black Alpha. So long.